Hey guys, what's up? I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today's video, I'm doing a review on the uh, Tascam uh, DR10L mic. This is a live mic that you can use for recording interviews and talking head, all kinds of stuff with it. Very, very handy little mic. Uh, I use this all the time. I use it on so many shoots and it's been so reliable. Um, I highly recommend this, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a quick review, what it what it sounds like, how it operates just a little bit, so let's jump right into it. Now when you purchase the uh, Tascam mic, it does come with a handy dandy little bag that you can keep it in. Um, I honestly love these little bags, they're tough and it's just great for storing it. You have the mic itself and then it also comes with the, uh, the lav mic and the cord and, and all that as well and it's a very very high quality mic i would compare it to basically like sennheiser's brand um really great stuff um so let's go ahead and plug this in tighten the screw down and we'll go ahead and turn it on you hold the power down the button on the side you hold that down it turns on And all right, we are good to go. It takes maybe like five or six seconds for it to come up, not too bad. And I'm just gonna hold it right about here, just about where I'd normally clip it onto someone. And I'm gonna start recording. And um, as you can hear, it, it sounds really great, really great audio. Um, I'm gonna cut to the road mic that you're hearing right here. And then now we're gonna be talking back to the uh, Tascam uh, DR10L mic. Great quality, great depth. I would compare it any day to high-end professional lavalier mics. Uh, what I've even done as well as backup audio, whether I'm clipping it on someone um, or not, I've actually put it alongside a boom mic over someone um, and it's worked great as well, capturing their audio hanging above them um, without any issues and sounds very, very clean. So. Great, great sounding mic, great sounding audio. And again, this is recording uh, directly to um, a mini SD that goes in the side. Let me just go ahead and show you guys. All right, so the mini SD goes right into the side of the camera here, pops right in this side door. Now with this mic, it is not sending it directly to the camera um, wirelessly, it is recording it directly to uh, a mini SD separately. So it's not, again, sending it to the camera, it's recording it to a mini SD. So if you're hoping to monitor it uh, while someone's wearing it, that's not exactly how it's gonna work. Uh, but to me, the, the, the price difference from having uh, the Sennheiser mic packs, which run from like, I don't know, even like seven or 800, 800 bucks for a set, to one mic pack that will give you great sounding audio for 200 bucks, I can definitely take the the price cut of not being able to necessarily monitor it live. Obviously, I like the security of that, um, and so I am checking this. If there's a, an available opportunity when I'm recording someone, we're, we're taking a break uh, real quick if they're needing to work on lines or what they're gonna say, I'll just step in and ask if I can check the mic real quick just to make sure it's on and recording, just to be safe. Uh, but it records for a very, very long time on a battery. It takes a AAA battery that goes right in the, uh, the back, and um, I have recorded probably one to two hours worth of recording time on uh, one battery and still had plenty of battery left. So uh, don't, don't worry that it's gonna just suck up the battery if you're running for an hour or two. Um, it basically goes into power saving mode, so there's, there is a little tiny screen on here that will show you uh, your audio level bouncing, it shows you your battery life, and it shows you the file name. Uh, but once you start recording, it'll show it for maybe 15 seconds, and then that screen goes dark into a power saving mode. So essentially there's nothing showing on the screen, it's just doing all the work inside the mic, so it's not running down the battery at all. Um, you do have a headphones jack on the side, so you could play back your audio uh, and monitor it if you needed to check something. I've never needed to do that. Um, I've never I felt like I needed to, So, um, but you have that option if you want to. You've got your menu system as well, which is, seems pretty intuitive. Um, you have your low cut, your limiter, auto level, um, just kind of flipping through some of these file names, just a lot of your basic uh, settings for setting up a device, format the card, um, date, time, um, a lot of different options. I hardly have ever gone in to adjust the settings other than the date and time. It's honestly super easy for plug and play, put a AAA battery in, get your mini SD card in there, 
plug in your mic, uh, turn it on, and you are basically ready to roll. Now to start recording, the same switch that you'd use to turn the to turn the mic on and off, you actually hold up, and you can see it starts recording. The screen goes uh, kind of inverts from black to white, and you can see it counting up right now. To stop the recording, you just hit the pull the tab up again, and it stops the recording. And then to turn the mic off, you just hold the power down for uh, just a few seconds and it will power down just like that. It does have uh, like a belt clip, so you can clip it to your pants, your belt, very, very tight, very firm. That is not coming off. I almost think this is a tighter clip than some of the Sennheiser packs that I've used. Uh, so it is very tight, very secure. The build quality is kind of like a tough plastic, but very, very sturdy. Uh, feels firm. I have put this in this mic in so many places, um, and it's and it's done great. I don't know if it's waterproof. I doubt it's waterproof or anything like that, but uh, it is a solid, solid little mic. So yeah, that's basically just my my review of uh, this Tascam DR10L. Very happy with it. I've had it for probably two or three years. I have a couple of these. Uh, again, they're great options for budget-friendly mics. They're still a couple hundred bucks but it's better than paying seven or $800 for a Sennheiser pack. Uh, if you have the, the money for a, a Sennheiser pack, then by all means, that's a great option because you can send it wirelessly to your camera. But for a budget-friendly setup, this is great. What I love about this too is that even though I'm not able to monitor it live, by just hitting record and putting it on someone, I know that I'm gonna capture that audio. If it's recording live to my camera or sending the, camera, the, the signal wirelessly to my camera, um, then uh, if I'm not recording on the camera, then it's not gonna be recording the audio. Uh, whereas this, I know if it's on that person and it's recording, even if I'm not recording on the camera, I will at least capture that sound bite. So you guys, do yourself a favor, buy one of these Tascam mics for yourself. You will not regret it. Great quality, great quality sound, very reliable. I have used these all over the world on countless interviews and they have always worked amazing for me. Uh, and again, the biggest thing for me is you can't beat the price. I will have the links for this mic down in the description area below. So please check it out. If you guys decide to buy it, go ahead and get it through that link. I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you purchase it through the link, I will get a kickback uh, from that and that definitely will help support the channel. I do appreciate that in advance. So guys, I hope you found some value in this. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys would love to hear me give a review on next, what piece of gear you want to learn more about. All right guys, I will see you guys in the next video.